In tutorial 7 we are going to use what we've already learned with the auto spacing and auto hide to apply it to a headshot graphic. I've already created the first headshot graphic and put all the layers into a group. For auto spacing to work you must use 3D text and I've also used XMP metadata to add the person's name to the scene just by changing the headshot graphic. So the graphic is all good and now I'm going to copy that group and paste it down three more times. Now go in and rename all the layers and the elements inside the layers so it is easier to distinguish between the layers. Now because I changed all the text template names, I actually have to go back in and remap the XMP metadata to the correct template fields. Okay, so they're all done there now. Now I go to the headshot, click on metadata and assign that last name in this case to a headshot number two. And the same thing for number three and for number four. Okay, when that is complete, now we're going to, going to control click to select all four groups and put them into another group that we will name top group. Now with the top group selected, make sure you're on the auto spacing properties and click enable. It made the heads quite wide apart because the headshots were originally a lot wider. So reduce the minimum offset until they come together. Now I'm going to set all four groups to auto hide as we have done before. The reason for doing this is this template can now be used for a one, two, three, or four headshot graphic. I have a blank headshot that erases the name from the name template field. So if it is blank, then that headshot group will not be displayed. Okay, that's all done, so let's give this a try. Click Alt-T and let's start changing some of the heads in the template. I'm going to leave Cameron in the first headshot. So we'll select a different one for the second one and a different for the third one. And for the fourth one, I'm going to select the blank headshot. So now the four headshot template repositions itself for a three headshot graphic. So let's go back in and add a fourth headshot now and it repositions itself again. Now I see one small issue with the way this graphic looks. I originally used mask layer one for my headshots and then copied it three more times. So now to make sure the graphic is correct, I'll make sure that all the masks are set to their own layers. So for headshot two, I'll select the mask and I'll put that on layer two and assign it to the headshot. And the thing, same thing for number three, take that mask out of there, take the mask out of uh, headshot four and take the two headshots out as well. And then uh, for headshot three, we'll assign the mask to layer three, invert it, and select the headshot as uh, the target. And we'll do the same thing for number four. So this was a very easy template to create, and it now can be used in a newsroom environment as a single headshot template that can be used for one up to four heads. It makes it very easy for users to just select a single headshot template that can be used in multiple ways.